everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here I'm Kay or better known as Kay Digital Studio if you know me from my Etsy shop and if you do know me from my Etsy shop perhaps you know or maybe you don't that the good note covers are some of my best sellers in my shop I have so many up so feel free to check those out later if by the end of this video you want to but today I am filming a tutorial on how to make the GoodNote covers for yourselves as well as how to import those covers into GoodNotes later. You can also use these covers to print and insert into your binders or notebooks to decorate them and personalize them to your own liking. Yeah, so I don't have much of an intro for this video today, so let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. All right, so before starting a GoodNotes cover, usually I'll go on Pinterest for inspiration. Sometimes I'll just scroll through the home feed of my page, bounce some ideas off. Once I have an idea or I've come up with my own, I'll go into the app called Procreate and I'll create a new canvas and I'll actually go down to the A4 size since that is the size of most of my notebooks and journals. And so with my blank canvas, I already have an idea in mind. So I already have um, a color palette created, so I'm just gonna choose my color. And then the brush that I'll be using today is under the inking category and it's the dry ink brush. So now that I have my brush, I'm going to try and attempt to draw an avocado, kind of in the mood to draw like an avocado like Good Notes cover. So I'm just going in, touching up a spot that I didn't really like all that much. And so now I have the shape for my avocado. So now I'm just gonna go in and basically redraw that outline, kind of make it thicker. I'm not trying to make it perfect. I kind of like the stylistic hand-drawn effect currently. So I just went in and did that. So now I'm creating a new layer because I am choosing a different color this time. So now I'm gonna go ahead and tackle the pit of my avocado. So now I'm just gonna draw and color in the pit. Now with my pit done, I'm gonna do another layer and choose a lighter color and just kind of go in uh, back to that pit to create more dimension. So I'm just going in with a lighter color. Now I'm doing a new layer and I'm going in with this lighter green color. I'm going to do kind of another outline for the avocado. I moved the layer down just so Whenever I draw, it doesn't appear on the top of the pit. I'm actually gonna move that layer down once more because I also don't want that layer to get on the darker green outline of my avocado. And now I'm just going around, kind of darkening up the edges to have kind of, again, more dimension for my avocado. Now I'm going in and creating another layer. Once again, I'm gonna have that be my bottommost layer and I'm gonna get the lightest color and just kind of fill in the rest of the white of my avocado. Now that I'm done with my avocado, I'm gonna go down and merge all of my layers. So instead of just having pieces of an avocado, I have a whole single avocado now. So with that, I'm going to duplicate my avocado. And now I'm gonna go back to my base layer and move it around. And this is where you can get creative. Sometimes I will try and make kind of like a repeat or a seamless pattern. Other times I'll just do one or two of whatever I drew. It really just depends and feel free to get creative at this part. Obviously, all of my GoodNote covers are a little bit different because I do a little bit different style. I spend more time or I make more simpler patterns. And so here I am just going through and duplicating layers, twisting my avocados, making them a little smaller. And I'm just repeating that process. Sometimes I'll flip them or I'll turn them. And now that I have all the avocados for that layer, I'm going to merge them all into one layer. And this is because I actually kind of want to put more avocados within a line like this. 
So what I'm gonna do is actually duplicate that layer, move it down a bit, flip it around. And for the sake of this pattern, I'm actually gonna cut off some of the avocado that I just did. I'm gonna duplicate that same layer and then also move it over to create kind of a longer line of avocados. And with that done, I'm actually going to duplicate my first layer, also bring that down, and then I'm going to merge my second row of avocados and duplicate it, and then bring that down as well. And then I'm just going to repeat that process to fill out the whole page for my cover. So now that I have all of my layers for my avocado, I'm gonna go in and choose a background color. Now that I'm done, I'm going to go up and export my cover. And I typically choose the PNG file option just because I find that that gives me the highest quality. And with that, I'm going to save it to my camera roll. Now that it's been saved in my camera roll, I'm actually gonna go into this app called Over to add just a few more embellishments, which you don't have to do. Sometimes I don't, but I'm in the mood to do that today. So now I'm gonna pull this into Over and I'm actually going to add a place to write your name or the subject as well as kind of like a strap for my cover. So I'm going in and I'm adding a shape using the shape tool, changing the color, rounding out the corners a bit. You can also do this in Procreate if you want, but I find it easier to do in Over just because I can be more precise with the shapes in Over. So now I'm just placing the white rectangle where I would normally write my name or subject for the class, going into that same shape tool and repeating the steps to make kind of like a strap for the cover. Obviously, I'm going to make this a little thinner. And then I'm actually going to go into the color tool and use color picker tool to pick up the color from the cover. And then I'm going to export and save to my camera roll. So now that we're done with our cover, we're going to move this bad boy into good notes. So I'm just gonna use my summer online class I'm taking now as an example. Let's say you already have a notebook open in GoodNotes. There's two different ways to import a cover and this is the first way. So you already have a notebook open. You're gonna go up into this add page option and you're gonna click the before option and click the images tool and then import your cover in that way. Then you can go in and type out my notes or the subject of the class, your name, and just kind of decorate the cover further in GoodNotes. There is a second way, and I prefer this way. You'll hit the gear shift in GoodNotes and go into Notebook Templates. You're gonna switch over to the cover option. And if you don't already know about this, GoodNotes has plenty of different cover options to choose from. So here I am just showing you a few of them. But I really like importing templates and covers into GoodNotes. All you have to do is choose any one of the categories, scroll all the way over and click the import button. And then you can click from files or photos, depending on where you saved it. We saved it in photos and now it's there in that category. So anytime that you want to import, let's say a template or a cover, you can just go into the templates library of GoodNotes and select your own or the ones that they already have there if you want to. So here I am just showing you the second option of importing the cover using the notebooks template library. So for just fun's sake, I'm going to show you a different design for a GoodNotes cover. I feel like anyone could create any of these GoodNote covers or covers in general, even if you don't feel like you're super artistic. So here I am just going through another design of just simplistic rainbows. So I'm basically doing what I did before merging all my layers, duplicating them. Here I am doing kind of an interesting line art. Just making sure that I finish my line so I can drop the color in. And then I'm gonna go in and duplicate those rainbows.
And now that I finished my design, I'm just going to repeat the process and export as a PNG and save it to my camera roll to use later in GoodNotes or to print. So here are our finished designs, avocados and rainbows. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I'll be sure to have the covers that I created in this video up on the freebies section of my website. Thank you so much for supporting me. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help me out. It helps you stay engaged with my channel and it also helps me stay engaged with you all. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.